Blazor submenus in .NET 8. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create a submenu in the default Blazor menu that expands and collapses when you click on it. And we'll be doing this in a Blazor server app. Create a Blazor web app, and for interactive render mode, select server. For the interactivity location, select per page or component. The reasoning behind this is we want the speed and security of a Blazor server app, but we need the interactivity of a client-side app to dynamically change the menu. We add three Razor components to the Pages folder and set them as pages the menu items can link to. We added a parent page, submenu one page, and submenu two page. Now in the nav menu Razor page in the layout folder, we added another nav link that routes to the parent page. It's exactly the same as the other nav links, except when it is clicked, it changes a bool variable we created in the code section. This variable simply indicates if the submenu should be displayed or not. Then we add an if statement to show the links to the submenus if our variable is true. The submenu links are also the same as the other links in the nav menu, but points to the submenu pages. Let's run our app and see if it works. The parent menu goes to the parent page, but the submenus are not expanding. We're still missing a crucial piece of the puzzle. For our menu to dynamically change, we need to set the render mode on the nav menu page to interactive server. Because we selected the per page or component interactivity location when we created the application, it allows us to set the nav menu page to be interactive. Now, when we run our app again, the submenus items are expanded and linked to their pages. Thank you for watching our video. For more tutorials on C Sharp, hit subscribe and click the reminder. Give us a like so the video can be visible to more people.